We're gonna talk about credit real quick. Obviously you need credit in order to, to buy a home. Surprisingly, it doesn't have to be great credit in order to buy a home. So I'm with Nick Bakula. Um, he is my recommended lender. And my question for this, Nick, is the first question is just minimum requirements on credit. Sure. So I know that banks have their own requirements, but if right. I wanna do FHA, FHA says it, it has to be this. If right. I wanna do conventional, it says it has to be this. So yep. what's the what's the minimum credit requirement for me to get a loan sure. if I wanna go buy a house? Um, yeah, VA, no minimum credit score requirement um, at all. Banks do have overlays um, there. And when you say banks have overlays, whoever the bank is that's doing it. So right. Bank of America can do a VA loan, Possibly. but right. they have their own requirements based on what the credit score has to be. VA doesn't, Correct. but the bank itself does. Right. Okay. Um, FHA, they have a set limit of 580. Um, m most banks, some banks can go down to 580. Some banks keep it at 620 or 640. It just depends on the bank. So that's same thing applies there. FHA says... Hey, if you've got a 580 credit score, we'll give you money, but you've then got to find the yep. bank that's willing to agree to that. Correct. Right. So again, the bank is yep. is the one. And why is that? Are they uh, are just they... risk risk based? Whoever at the bank sets the rules on lending, it, they don't want to take a risk, um, even though FHA. So would FHA allow says, for it. FHA says, hey, we'll take a bigger risk, but it, they're not really putting up their money to 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 take the risk. Um. Well, and I might be getting yeah. too deep. That might be too long of a conversation, yeah. which is fine. Yeah, pro I mean, my my quick summary is just that the bank wants to be protective if it has to justify something going wrong. Right. So they, so they just, set their they own set guidelines. Their own guidelines right? Got it. Um, so conventional, where do we start with conventional? Uh, conventional 620. Okay. Um, and up. The, the government, the FHA VA loan programs, credit score, um, not as critical as... Um, you, you need a minimum, but not as critical as conventional. With conventional, 620 is significantly different financing than, say, what's kind of considered the best score, which would be 740. Um, a 740 or above gets you the best financing with okay. conventional. So my rate will change, my payment will go down if I have better credit. Correct. Awesome. Um, next question that I get all the time is... I don't want the lender to pull my credit because it's going to hurt my credit. Yep. So is that true? And how much does it hurt? And, and is is it really as scary as we all think it is? Yeah, sure. Um, so this is just my personal research on doing this for uh, seven years now. And um, I've seen some physical evidence of this as well. But um, from reading online, it backs it up. So the theory here is credit scoring models change over time. Um, the big three companies that do credit scoring all have their own criteria and own formulas. So um, there's three credit scores when you when you apply for a loan. Um, and just a side note, these are not the same scoring models that you apply for a credit card or that you check with your free online um, credit information. But if you're high there, you're most likely going to be high here as well. Um, so these three companies come up with different rules. Um, they're all different. And the credit profile is very complex. It looks at everything, your history, your balances, your payment history. Um, but on average, um, two to five points is what you're looking at for what's called a hard inquiry. Um, you have to have the bank pull your credit to get a pre to get a pre qualification letter. Um, there's no, no way around that. So you're going to have to do that at some point. Um, and you're looking at two to five points. So if you have 800 credit scores, two to two to five points is going to do absolutely nothing because you're above that tier of 740. Um, anyways, um, timing wise, also you have a little bit of protection here. Um, the credit scoring agencies realize that when you're applying for a mortgage, that you're not, it's not like a credit card. You can't just apply to 10 different banks and get 10 different credit cards. You're, you're applying for one mortgage at a time. So they allow a, a window as well. Um, I recommend try to keep it within two weeks, but I've read as, as far as 30 or 45 days where, wow. Um, if you have one mortgage company pull your credit um, and then another credit pull from a mortgage inquiry within that time window, it would only summarize as one hit as well. So if I, if I contact you and my credit's pulled and then it takes me two months to go find a house right. and then I want to compete. Yep. So I'm getting two and a half to five points or so on that first one, and then right. two months, possibly, 
I'm getting two and a half to five points when those guys, when everybody starts pulling my credit, right? Right. If you do, you have to pull my credit again if I want to use you. It depends. It depends on the time window. Um, credit and it also depends on the loan program. Credit credits are generally credit pulls are generally good for 120 days. Okay. So if if, if a bank pulls your credit today and you went to closing with 120 days, that bank wouldn't necessarily have to repull the credit report um, again. That, that being said, um, most of the time there would, you know, if you go under contract super quick, you're fine. Most people, if you're out looking for an extended period of time, do have their credit pulled more than once. Um, you have to have a valid credit score when you're going through the underwriting process. All right, so if you go through this process, you get approved, it takes you a little bit of time, then you compete with banks, max you're looking at is possibly around 10 points. Um, so you're sure. anywhere from five and, to 10 points on your credit. And, is and that's assuming at. your credit profile is exactly the same. Like if your credit card balance, your minimum payment or whatever changes, it's gonna change your score over time. Sure. And you're talking two months down the line, so that's gonna change your score as well. So it may not even be a noticeable so, 10 points. Yeah, I mean, you could have gone up and it, it takes right. a couple away and you wouldn't even know the difference. Right. And um, does, that, does that, here's another question. If I've got an 800 score and then I say, okay, Nick, pull my credit, is my credit, is it instant? So does it instantly show now at, at 795 instead of 800? I, I don't know the exact answer to that. I believe it's an afterthought. So okay. The, the, so the number that you see may, might not even show. Right. Got it. So the next time that you're outside that window and you have someone pull it, if your credit profile is exactly the same, I, you would see, in theory, that again, be depending on the lower. models, Got two, it. two to five points is sort Got of it. the published number. Okay, cool. That's what credit's all about.